Hi everybody, it's Lexi here. Thank you for tuning in. I'm forever grateful for you indulging me in um, these videos where I share my home practice. Today I'm thinking about the words of Swami Sachananda. You can't control the waves, but you can learn how to surf. And I'm thinking right now about the beautiful group that uh, went on retreat with me to Puerto Rico. Um, seems like a year ago, but it was just a few short weeks ago. Uh, what a magical group that was. And I will always hold you each and all collectively in my hearts. With no further ado, let's have some fun. Um, we're gonna start on our bellies. So come onto your bellies. Once you get there, you can starfish for a breath or two. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Bend your knees and just agitate lower back, rocking side to side. Extend your legs long and then bring the back of your hands on the earth, thumbs pressing into the side of your leg. Take a big breath in and on exhale, bend your right knee. Now some of us, this is going to be enough. Others of us might take our right hand around and grab for that right ankle. Now I want you to think not so much pulling that foot towards your glute, but rather lifting and directing your right knee towards the bottom end of your mat. Stay here. Maybe this is where you're at. Maybe you have a strap or a shirt and you're lassoing the foot. If it's in your practice and you're interested in this, you might take the other arm and then take a double bind. Five breaths here, big breath in, big breath out. Lengthening that right quad, letting that heel descend for three, letting your shoulders open for two, and one. Go ahead and release that extended long, and then take it the other way. Start with just bending the left knee. This might be where you're at. Have a little bit of an engagement to the left glute. Maybe you reach back. Maybe you connect with the foot. Either grip is fine. This is perfectly great. Or the other hand can be recruited. And again, we're thinking about lifting and directing that knee back and then mellowing into sensation. Breathing for five. For four. Three, maybe you can use a little bit of arm strength, lengthening two, and one. Nicely done. Release that leg, take a little mini Shalabhasana, tuck your toes, deliver your bum to your heels, child's pose. Once you get there, just take a moment. Sometimes I like to imagine my bum is the meringue top of a lemon chiffon pie, and I'll slide it one way, and then slide it the other way. Sometimes I just rock my forehead side to side. I'm gonna put some music on. Let's see what CD I have today. Just take me a moment. Okay, my friend, we're now gonna take our left arm. I'm gonna take my shirt off. Thread the left arm underneath your right arm. So threading the needle. Taking a moment here. Three.
for me, I really feel my left hip flexor here. I'm breathing for three. I've got awareness of my left glute. It's hugging in for two. And one. Inhale, reach it up neutral. Exhale, hands frame that front right foot. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. You're in a long, low lunge. See what happens if you put a little engagement to the right glute. Kind of back it up a little bit. Good. One more inhale here. On exhale, left foot steps to meet the right. Forward fold, front of your mat. Swaying side to side. Now today, you are going to need a block. I should have mentioned it before. Or if you don't have a block, a book or even a shoe will work. That's my teaser. Get excited. Breathing. Put a generous bend to the knees, pull your belly button to the spine, tuck the tailbone, slow roll all the way up to stand. You can even roll out your wrists if that feels like a good idea. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Right hand grabs the left wrist, hinge to the right, hips go to the left. My feet are about two fifths width apart right now. Inhale through center, take it the other way. Breathing. Inhale up through center. On exhale, put a bend to the knees soft as you just swat and dive down into that Uttanasana forward fold. As you inhale your heart forward, step the left leg back, long low lunge, same side. This time, tap your left knee down. Inhale, straighten the right leg. We're taking our runner stretches. You know I love this pose. Pull the belly button back. Engage the glutes. See how that changes this experience. If you want more stability, the back toes can be tucked. Less shoelace side down. Lengthen and fold, breathing for three. For two. And one. Oh, feels so good. Rebend the right knee, find that long lengthened lunge. Right foot steps back to meet left downward, breathing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, wrap your triceps in, heavy the heels, find that low core. Inhale, ride your breath forward to a plank pose, high yogi push-up. Hold here for three breaths, or if you want some heat, take three push-ups. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. From plank pose, let's all lower all the way down to our belly. Oh, it feels so good. Untuck the toes, widen your hands, tent your fingers, elbows high, three cobra undulations. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll down. Final inhale, make it a little funky cobra if you want. Exhale, lower down. Step your hands to frame your pecs, tuck your toes under your back in a child's pose. Inhale, come up to a table. Exhale, rebound, dome the spine, find that cow. Inhale, find that cow, heavy belly. Exhale, keep the cow spine, just bend the elbows, take a little ashtang pranam, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, push right back up to cow. Exhale, seat to heel, child pose. Just a little movement. Second side, we're threading the right arm under the left, threading the needle the second side, breathing here for three, for two, and one. Unthread that, come on up to the knees. Here you go. You're almost in a camel prep. You can bring the hands to the low back if you want. Push your hips forward a little bit. Let the heart open. Not a full ustrasana. Far too early for that. But just feeling the shoulder blades. Lift your heart up. Using your hands to give equal distributive weight to the sacrum forward. Good. Pull it in. Knit the ribs in. Find your bodhis. Inhale, arms high. Hinge it to the left. Lift up through center. Take it to the right. Inhale through center. Left leg's going to sneak itself forward to that low lunge. Go and inhale. Find that anjane, that easy kneeling back bend. Exhale. Press into the left big toe. Back it up. Engage the glute slightly as you round the spine. Finding that cat arch back. Holding for three. I really feel this. For 
too. It feels so interesting to do it. And one, well done. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, hands frame that front foot. Inhale, lift the back knee. You're in that long, low lunge again. Exhale, the right foot meets left, forward fold, adding on. Left hand between the toes, maybe you get your block, peel the right arm to the sky. I like to micro bend to my left knee for three. Breathe deeply for two. And one, switch it out. Right hand down, little bend to the right knee, peel the left arm high, breathing for three. Two. And one, two feet, two hands down, two feet are already down. Bend the knee slightly, slow roll. Find that cat tuck of the tailbone. Find the rounding of the back. Inhale, reach arms high, find neutral. Right hand to the left wrist, hinge to the right. Lift through center. Left hand to the right wrist, hinge to the left. Hinge through center. Swan dive bow and fold. Again, the right foot's going to step back. You're in a long, low lunge, second side. Tap the right knee down on exhale. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Pull the bondage. Light engagement to the glutes. Lengthen the spine. Take your Ardha Hanuman. Breathing for three. Gentle runner stretch for two. Nothing forced here. Just letting gravity. Open up that stretch. It's still very early. Inhale, find that low, long lunge. Exhale, downward dog is where we land. Take a big breath in. Exhale, see if you can smudge your heels a little bit closer to the ground. I think I just made up a word there. I like it though. Inhale, forward to plank pose. You know the drill. Hold plank for three breaths. Or if you want heat, three push-ups. Lower all the way down to your belly. Please bend the right knee, flex the foot, reach the right arm long in front of you, pulse it up, hold for three. Long neck, look at the mat for two. And one. Right leg long, keep the toes tucked or untucked, your choice. Left knee bends, flex the foot, find the glute engagement, reach the left arm forward, holding for three. Two, and one. Two legs long, two hands down, glide the bottom to the heel, child's pose. Inhale, right your breath up to a table. Exhale, round, find that cat spine again. Inhale, find that cow spine. Exhale, lower chest and chin, ashtang pranam. Inhale, push right back up to cow. Exhale, glide it back, child's pose. Left arm is going to thread underneath the right arm again. We're doing that thread the needle velocity, but adding on. Some of you are going to stay here. Some of you are going to extend the right leg long. Some of you might even decide to lift the right leg. And then think about your left glute. Squeeze it in, and you might bend the right knee and open up your hip. The left glute engagement is where you find stability here. Breathing for three. It's okay if you fall out of it. That's a wonderful thing. That's a sense of Leela, playfulness, not taking yourself too seriously. And one, straighten the leg if it's bent. Square the hips. Tap the knee down. Unthread your up to your Ustrasana prep pose. This time, we're going to reach our arms high. Right arm's going to reach back, either to the low back, maybe to the thigh, maybe to your block, grab it, maybe to your heel, taking your Ustrasana with a twist. I'm going to tuck my toes under to lift my hips a little higher. Breathing for three. Good. Two. And one. Good job. Lift it back up. Step that right foot forward. Inhale, arms high. Right hand grabs the left wrist, hinge to the right. Inhale through center, have to have your glute engaged. Brace with the right wrist with the left fingers and take it to the left. Feel that left glute helping to stabilize. 
slice you. Squeeze even in without clenching for two. And one. Good. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale. T twist. T twist. Now back it up. Don't get ahead of yourself. Back it up. Press into the toe. Breathing for three. You can cactus your arms if that feels good for two. Do you like Tony Mitchell? You can snap whatever feels good. Okay, create your right hands when you feel ready. Hook your left elbow outside your right thigh. Notice the tendency. We all have, or many of us have it to hitch forward. Glide it back today. Find the core engagement in the glutes. Breathing for three. That's two. And one. Well done. Come back to that lunge shape. Hands frame the front foot. Lift the back knee. Take an extra inhale. You've arrived. Left foot steps to me. Right forward fold. Left hand between the toes. Right arm to the sky. Right hand between the toes. Left arm to the sky. Two hands down. Slow roll all the way up to stand. Inhale, arms overhead. Right hand grabs left wrist. Hinge to the right on the exhale. Inhale through center. Switch the grip, take it to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, bow and fold. Come. As you inhale the heart forward, step the left leg back. You're in that long low lunge. Left knee taps down. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, left hand down inside the right calf. Right arm to the sky. It's a runner stretch slash um, kind of a dragonfly chest. Breathing for three. Good. Two. And one. Now look down. Make sure that left hand's ready to wait there. Look at the right foot. Politely ask it to lift and hinge around to your Ardha Shandrasana on a knee or a two part, two point open table. Stay here or with engagement of the left glute, You'll bend the right knee. You'll push the hips forward slightly. Maybe tickle the foot, right? Maybe grab the ankle. Harder not to grab and just tickle it. If you want to grab it to help you open up more, that's cool too. We're here for three. Breathing. Two. And one. Inhale, extend it long. Hand down, knee down. You are back in table. Inhale, sacred cow. Exhale, howling cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, chest and chin lowers, ashtanga pranam. Inhale, push right back up. Exhale, seat to heel, child's pose. Inhale, right to table. Tuck toes, hips high, downward dog. Big breath in. Exhale, heavy the heels. Find that rotation of the triceps down and in. Inhale, ride your right forward to plank pose. Exhale, yogis tap the knees down. Inhale, shoot your shoulders ahead of the wrist. Knock your elbows in. Stay here or three chaturanga push-ups. Lower halfway, lift up. Lower halfway, lift up. Lower halfway, lift up. Everybody, lower halfway. Untuck your toes. Ride your breath to a big cobra with knees down or find the strength of the legs, pressing into the shoelace to lift your thighs. Downward dog. Huge breath in, yogis. Exhale, slowly tap the knees down. Inhale, lift the right arm to the sky. Exhale, thread the right arm, finding that velocity twist. Now you know you can stay here. We've been here before. Or you can extend the left leg long. Stay here or floating the left leg. Engaging the right glute, maybe you bend the left knee and open your hips. You might even peek down and see if you can see the left thigh. If it's getting too far ahead of you, you can engage your glutes to lean it back for three, two, and one. Straighten the leg, if it's bent, square the hips, tap it down, Nicely done. We all come up. Establish the neutral spine. Find the bodies. And then option. Ustrasana twist. Hand to low back. Hip to thigh. 
Tuck the toes to ankle. If you have a bendy back, you can grab it without tucking. We're here for three. For two. And one. Come back up. Sneak that left foot forward. Finding your kneeling lunge. Reach the arms high. Taking your twist. Lift it through center. Take it the other way, finding your glutes. Lift it up. T twist is where we go, holding. Noticing the tendency to do that, press it back. Find almost more of a cat side. Good. And then, once you get it back, then allow the cow to open the heart. Breathing. Pray the hands when you're ready. Put the elbow outside that front knee. Notice I moved forward. I'm going to press it back. And then I'm going to open my heart, breathing for three. Two. And one. Unwind that, lengthen. Exhale, frame the front left foot. Inhale, tuck the toes, lift the back knee, find the length. Exhale, right foot knees left. Left hand between the toes, peel the right arm to the sky. Even that out. Left arm to the sky. Bow and fold. Reverse swan, reach it high. Hands to heart center. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Hinge to the right, one breath. Lift through center. Hinge to the left, one breath. Notice how you're getting incrementally deeper. Reach it high, maybe there's a micro back bend. Exhale, swan dive out and fold. Right foot steps back, finding that low lunge on the left side. Tap the right knee down. Inhale, lengthen and straighten the left leg best you can. Plant the right hand, peel left arm to the sky, finding that half Ardha Hanuman, half dragonfly, moving and breathing with breath. Find the engagement of the glutes. Find your bandhas. Pelvic floor lifting, belly button up and in. Look at the foot, look at the hand. Politely say, will you lift? Will you swing open? Maybe, maybe not. Half table or Ardha on the knee, Ardha Chandrasana on the knee. You have the glutes working for you, not against you. Stay here. Maybe you bend the knee, maybe you tickle the foot. Little wheel up, playful this. Maybe you grab the ankle and help yourself open. Breathing for three. That's two. Big breath in. We release with control. Hands down, knees down, from the heel, child's pose. Big breath in. Big breath out. Huge breath in. Huge breath out. Go ahead and inhale up to a table. Exhale, find that cat spine. Inhale, find that cow belly. One more time, Ashtanga Pranam, lower down. Inhale, push right back up to cow. Exhale, neutralize the low back in this child's Feel the rounding. Inhale, come to a lengthened table. Step your hands ahead of where they are. Tuck the toes, hips high. Downward breathing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Huge breath in. Huge breath out. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Look between your thumbs. Exhale, step there or on empty, lightly hop. Lift halfway. Bow and fold. Root to rise, reverse swan dive, reach it overhead. Pull that energy to heart center. Can't control the waves, but we can learn how to serve. Inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, bow and pull. Lift halfway, prepare. Step to plank and lower or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Breathing here for three. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale. 
Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Look between the hands. Exhale, step on empty float. Lift halfway. Bow and fold. Root to rise. Reach it high. Hands to heart center. Let's do it again. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bow and fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Vinyasa. Transition to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Stay here for three breaths or inhale forward to plank pose. Lift the right leg, bend the right knee. Exhale, three point chaturanga. Keep the knee bent lower. Take a cobra knee bent. Exhale, paint it back down. Bump the heel. Down dog. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Step, hop, float, fly in front of the back. Lift halfway. Bow and fold. Root to rise. Pull that front on a heart center. Let's do another. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, move. Inhale, heart opens. Exhale, hips high. Relaxation, station, downward breathing. You know, you can stay here. It's a wonderful place to work and breathe. Or inhale forward to plank. Bend the left knee. Three point chaturanga with bent left knee. Lower all the way down. Cobra with knee bent. Take it to the earth. Bug the heel. Child's pose. Same breath. Downward dog. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Step up, move, fly. Front of the back. Lift halfway. Bow and fold. Reverse swan. Reach it high. Hold that energy to heart center. Good. You're going to root the left foot down. Bend the right knee. Keep the knees in one line. Let the glute engage. Feel that glute engaging. Without using your hands, try to get that heel as close to the bum as you can. Breathing for three. Two. Whew. And one. Take your right hand around. Grab through the ankle there. I'm doing the grip on the inside, but you can do the outside. Whatever works. Kick into the hand as you reach your heart forward. Finding that standing bow. Not to rush asana. Breathing. Three. Two. Using the glutes to help steer the hips to neutral. Hard to do. And one. Two feet meet as equals. Let's warm that with a Sunday. Reach it high. Bow it low. Lift halfway. Step to down dog directly. Step to plank and lower. Jump back chaturanga. Add push ups, add hands in, whatever you need. Breathing. Yogis, you can absolutely stay here for three breaths or glide forward to plank pose. Lower all the way to your belly. Bend both knees without grabbing your ankles. You'll reach back and hold this active down your asana. This is optional. Down dog is perfect for three. For two. One more inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Tuck the toes, seat to heels, same breath, downward dog. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, step on empty float. Lift halfway, bow and fold. Reverse swan, reach it high. Hold that energy to heart center, second side. Root the right foot well and good. Lift that left heel to your bum. Now look what I'm doing with my core, right? My floating ribs and my hips, I'm trying to cinch them together and use the strength of my glute and my hammies to get that heel as close as I can. For two. And one, left hand's gonna reach around. Grab through the right ankle. Excuse me, left ankle. Either grip, inside or outside, and then once you have it, kick the foot back as you reach the other arm forward. Think standing bow. Breathing. Three. Two. And one. Release and stand like a mountain. Close your eyes. Take a big breath in. I'm going to check the time. Perfect. Big breath out. Big breath in. 
big breath out. Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees, reach the arms high. Inhale. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, lift halfway to prepare. Step to plank or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, take your back bend, thighs can be lifted or lowered. Exhale, downward dog. Okay, something different. Spin the left heel down to a 45 degree angle. So you're getting a warrior one footing on the left side, and then inhale the right leg high. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in the outer left glute and thigh maybe. Stay here. Right leg can be doing whatever feels intuitive for three, two, and one. Now, yogi, stay here or begin to bend the left knee. It's just going to shift where you feel the stretch. Just two breaths, just a little bit of play. Very good. Okay, right foot steps between the hands. Keep that left heel spinning down. It's okay, but lift it for a moment to help you with the transition. Square the hips. I really want you to think about the right bum squeezing, left bum squeezing to help you neutralize your pelvis. Reach the arms high. One inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms. Find the scapula, the shoulder blades. Knit them together. Lift the heart up. And then inhale, straighten the front leg, straighten the arms. Find that left glute engaged. Exhale, little pyramid action, little pyramid pose. It can be wider or you can hop the back foot in. Whatever feels good. Breathing here for three. Two. And one. We're going to take a dragonfly twist. And then on the inhale, find a side plank. Now, all that lateral hinging we did at the start of class, find it now. Reach the hips high, arc the right arm up and over, so it's a Vashisthasana with that Chandra shape, that moon shape. Breathing for three, two, and one. Play pose, you choose, take a vinyasa or come right to down dog. Second side, here we go. Spin the right foot down, 45 degree angle. Press into the pinky toe edge, then inhale that left leg high. Feeling that stretch, breathing for three. Two. And one, put a little bend in the right knee. Just see where that shifts the stretch for two. And one, swing the left foot between the hands, reestablish the connection of the pinky toe of the back foot, and lift up, warrior one. Inhale, squeeze your glutes, see what that does to the shape. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, find that back bend, squeezing your glutes for this warrior one variation. Inhale, straighten the arms, straighten that front leg. Exhale, pyramid pose, second side. Feel free to keep it long if that's interesting to you. Or hop that foot in if you're more of a traditionalist. Try to square the hips and then fold. Lifting the heart up, 
or release it to your ankles. My toes are tucked to give me a little more lift. You cannot do that if you would rather have it be deeper. You're here for five. Four. Come back up, bottom of the heel, just sit for a second, big breath in. That's so good. Big breath out. Find your downward dog when you're ready, hips high, heels heavy. On the inhale, reach the right leg high to the sky. Bend the right knee, roll that leg around. Let the left heel get heavy. Engage your glutes and try to aim the right kneecap to the sky. Keeping the left heel rooted as best you can, breathing for three. You might even tend to the fingers. You might even lower the left forearm if that feels good. For two, getting the deep glute and back of the hammy stretch. And one, lift it up. You step the right foot between your hands. Find that long lunge, bend the left knee to hover. Inhale, lifts you up, monkey crescent. Once you get there, inhale, find that back bend, that standing crescent. And then interlace your hands, bend the knee again, and find that cat spine. Inhale, bring it to neutral. Exhale, revolve warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back. It's an active stretch. My back left leg is active. My glutes are squeezing for three. They're not clenching, but they are engaged too. It's important, they're big muscles, use them. And one, right hand to the back of the left side, left arm up and over, reverse revolved. Breathing for three. Two. When we're huge, breath in, hook your left elbow outside your right thigh. Prayer, twisted lunge. Breathing for three. Two. And one. You're going to look down, bring the left hand down, kick off the back, left toes, right hand's going to reach around to grab that ankle. Just take a moment here, feel this dynamic stretch. If you can't quite grab the ankle, that's okay. Working towards it is actually harder. And then put a little bend in the right knee. Don't overthink it. Just roll yourself up to a funky dancer. Now the work in this pose is to engage the left glute to try to square your hips. Breathing for three. Two. And one. Two feet knees equal. Stand like a mountain. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, prepare. Take it back in through yogis, your vinyasa. From your downward dog, lift to the balls of the feet, slowly tap your knees down. Come on up to stand to your knees. Friends, don't let friends just do one camel. Okay, here we go. Find that engagement, find the core. Don't lose this. Bring the hands to the low back. Keep the toes tucked or untucked. Both are great. Press the hips forward like you're leaning into an imaginary wall. Lift the heart, find the shoulder blades knitting together, and then release back. Five. Four. Three. Two. your heels, prayer to hands. This jasmine is one of those poses where we feel the waves, right? That lizard brain of yours is saying, I am rendering myself vulnerable. My head is back, my throat's exposed, my heart's exposed, the soft of my belly's exposed, my genitals are exposed, but I'm still doing it, and I'm doing it with deep breaths, right? We're all riding the waves of this world we live in. Are we learning to serve? Are we riding the waves mindfully? Or are they just knocking us about? And maybe the answer is it depends. <laughs> I know that's the answer for me, but I'm trying, I'm trying to serve. 
Find your downward dog. Hips are high, heels are heavy. Take a big breath in. You're going to walk your hands a little closer to your feet. Right hand's going to reach under the body to the left ankle, taking a twist as I switch the CD. Take a couple breaths here for three. Four, two. And one. Switch the opposite hand. Left hand to the right wrist for th or ankle for three. Two. And one. Come back to your neutral downward dog. Here we go. Left leg lifts. Bend the left knee. Heavy the right heel. Open the hip. Stay here or lower the right forearm. Maybe tuck those fingers. Breathing for three. Two. And one. Come back to three point down dog. Step the left foot between the hands. Take an inhale. Exhale. Cover the right knee. Inhale, dynamically lift up to Crescent Warrior. And then we'll take a little back bend. And then we'll come into that cow shape. Finding neutral, letting both of those shapes, both of those waves inform you. Reach the arms high, T-twist. Revolved Warrior Two, breathing. Find your glutes here, squeeze the bum in, see how it changes things for you. And back it up a little bit. Left hand to the back of the right thigh, right arm up and over, reverse revolve, breathing three. Hook that elbow outside your thigh, prayer the arm, and back it up. Find the intensity, breathing. Okay, my friends, look down. Right hand comes down, click off the back toe. Pull the heel towards your bum. Maybe that left hand grabs the right heel. Maybe it doesn't take a moment just to feel this gorgeous stretch. And then when you feel ready, put a little bit into the front knee. You are lifting up. Funky dancer. Have to pull that right glute forward to square the hips breathing. Three. Two. And one. Stand like a mountain, you badass. And big breath in. Big breath out. You can toss in the chair pose. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, the tap way, prepare. Yogi's on the move. Take it back and through. Right leg goes high. Bend the right knee. Squeeze the glutes together. Stay here. Begin to lift the right hand. Stay here. Lift your dog. Rock star. Full wheel. Whatever feels good. Breathing. Three. Two. And one. Unwind it. Right leg high. Step the right foot between the hands. Inhale, lift. Exhale, T-twist. Inhale, reverse revolve. Exhale, plant the hands, flick off the back toes. Find that connection. Inhale, lift you up to funky dancer. Exhale, see if the other hand can participate. Double bound dancer for three. Two. And one, release the right hand. Dancer pose. Now begin to bend that front knee. Use your core, lowering the right hand down, and then letting that hip wing open. Ardhashtanga Chopasana, engaging the glutes. Now, if you want to release the foot, take it to Ardhashtanga. That's totally cool. For three, two, and then we all release an Ardhashtanga. It feels so good, 
and land in a warrior two. Boom, big breath in, big breath out. Huge breath in, huge breath out. One more big breath in, exhale, go a little deeper. Inhale, reversal, exhale, two can inside the right foot. Finding your lizard lunge. Take a moment here, rocking. You can also tap that back knee down. Roll open that leg. Maybe we try to grab that back foot. Maybe lower the forearm and take it back then. Whatever feels good, go for it. Three. For two. And one. Release on out of that. Take a vinyasa if you want it, or step back to down dog. Whatever works. Inhale, left leg high. Bend the left knee, engage the glutes, open the hips, stay here. Cop and lock. Rock star. Full wheel. Breathing. Three. Two. And one. Unwind the three point dog. Left foot steps through. Dance this part, high lunge. Revolve, warrior two on the exhale. Reverse, revolve on the inhale. Find that deep twist on the exhale. Flick up the toes on the inhale. Catch the bind. That's the exhale, inhale. Lift you up. Bring both hands into it. Double bow dancer, option for three. Two. And one. Release it to dancer. Stay here. Or slowly lower that hand. You engage the glutes to open the hips. Ardha Chandra Chopasana. This isn't working for you. Take it to Ardha Chandra. It's all cool. Breathing for three. Find the glutes for two. And one. Release. You land in warrior two. Expands the pose. Imagine you're on that surfboard. Remember, back it up a little bit. Find the glutes here, two, three. A little deeper. Two. Reverse. Bring two hands inside that left foot. Find your lunge. Lizard lunge. Stay here. Tap the knee down. Stay here. Roll that thigh open. Oh, stay here. Reach back for the ankle. Stay here, or bring that forearm down, breathing. Good job, you guys. Step it back to plank pose. Lower to your belly. Bend your knees. Windshield wiper your legs. Just take a moment. Take a moment. Okay, guys, this was a 50-minute class. Tomorrow I'm going to post an additional 10-minute add-on. Um, but this is a complete practice, so if you want to stay and take Shavasana on your belly, absolutely do that. If you want to bring your bum to the heel, take child's pose, do that, and then transition to a Shavasana. To take that final rest or wait until tomorrow and tap on an extra 10 minutes. The light in me reflects and respects the beautiful light that is you. Namaste.